Hello everyone, my name is Jade. I usually help out at Fighting Fit on Tuesday nights for those of you who haven't had the chance to meet me yet. I'm going to be taking you through some flexibility today that will give you the knowledge and the tools you need to help improve your flexibility. Today's focus is going to be on our legs as legs are very important for fences as you all should know and it will help you improve your lunge and make it less painful when you have to do a long lunge when you're in very intense fights. So, for starters, everyone get up on your feet and we're going to do a little warm up. It's really important that you get the blood flowing before you do a flexibility exercise to make sure that you don't get injured. So everyone just jog on the spot. You join me jogging on the spot for a second and then increase your knee height up and do some high knees getting those knees nice and high getting the blood moving and go back down back down to jogging on the spot and do the same but do heel kicks to your bum and 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 and back to the center and then stop on the spot we're going to do some uh, leg circles so bring your knee up and then take it out and go out and round like that. So from the side, it looks like this. So do a couple on the left leg and a couple on the right leg. And then do the same, but close the gate as we like to call it. So you start with your leg wide and bring it in and across. And the same the other way. This isn't as intense as a warm up as you would do for fencing. This is just to help get the blood moving. Then I want you to point your toe and do some ankle circles just to make sure that your ankle is moving. Going both ways, clockwise and anti-clockwise. And then the right foot, clockwise and anti-clockwise. Okay, so now we've got the blood pumping a little bit, we're going to start with some simple stretches, so ones that you're probably all used to. If you just bring your quad up like this and squeeze it in behind, try and tuck your bum in underneath, push your hips forwards and then pull your leg in and it'll help you feel it down the front side of your quad. Hold it for 10. And swap legs. Remember to tuck your bum under and push forwards with the hips, squeezing that leg, your foot into your bum. And down. And then bring the same, but bring your knee nice and up to your chest, squeeze in tight. Hold for 10. And the other leg. Now I want you to have your feet slightly apart, reach up to the sky and then bring it down to your toes and just stretch nice and loosely for now. Sway one way, one go to one foot and to the other foot. Extend your legs out a little bit wider and just swing between. Now I want you to come to one foot twist your body come up stretch up and around feel the stretch through your back down the other side and to the middle and hang and then go the other way so if you link your hands use them to twist your body twist your shoulders out you want to feel the stretch all down the long side of your body come up to the center and go down the other way, feel the stretch down the other side and through to the back. Reach back between your legs. Try and get that stretch in the back of your legs a bit further and forwards. And come up. Now I want you to bend down into one knee like you would as you were starting to stretch out for a lunge. And the other side. 
and again to the other side. And once more. Lovely. Okay, now with your feet completely together, I want you to reach down and really try and touch your toes. We're gonna hold, I want you to push down to a point where it's painful on the back of your legs and we're gonna hold for 10. For those of you who are more flexible, try and grab your feet or grab your ankles or grab your legs and pull yourself in so that it feels painful for the 10 seconds that we're holding it. Okay, reach down and 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and up. We're gonna do the same two more times, but we're gonna do them slightly differently. So I want you to take your right leg and place it over your left leg. So your feet are now crossed. Put, make sure your knees are pushed back so your legs are completely straight and go down again and we're going to hold for 10. So push down to a point where it's painful and then trying to hold it. Okay, so go down and so it's painful and 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 and come up. And take the leg that's behind, which might be your left leg or not, bring that round in front and place it over the other leg that was there before, which for me was my right. So left in front of right and come down again. If you found yourself wobbling on that last one, you might want to try putting your feet a little bit further apart or having one foot slightly further forward than the other and then try and focus on one spot on the floor. So it's okay if you're wobbling. So I want you to come down Get to the point where it's painful, and we're gonna hold for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Okay, and up. Shake it out a little bit, jog your legs out. Now we're going to come down into a lunge, so I want you to Step one, step in front, foot and forward in front of the other. Come down into a lunge, place your back foot on the floor and grab your back leg like so. This might be a little bit tricky for some of you. You might need to lean forwards to help. This is gonna help stretch out your quad. So in this situation, we're gonna just squeeze in and hold for 10. So you should be squeezing your foot into your bum and feeling it in the front quad. Tense your glutes and push the hip forwards so that your back is nice and straight and then you can hold it for 10. So, ready and 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. You might want a pillow or something under your knee, or I'm not sure if any of you have yoga mats, but it can be quite stressful on the knee, so be a bit careful, especially if you have knee issues. And then the same for the other leg. So coming up at a right angle, make sure you push your forwards a little bit in your hip. Bring that back foot up. I'll give you a second to get into the position because it can be a bit wobbly if you're not used to it. And when you're all there, squeeze that back foot in. Keep your back nice and straight if possible. Squeeze your glutes, push the hip forwards. And 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, right. Next one, which is gonna be working on the quads again. I want you to sit on your ankles like so, sit back if you can, and then we're going to lie back onto the floor, back onto our elbows, and then if you can, the whole way down on the floor if you're feeling very flexible. So from the side, what this looks like is sitting kind of almost in a child's like pose. On your, on your legs, you might want your ankles a little bit wider apart, but be careful if your knees are hurting and then come back as much as you can. They might be that this is tight enough for you, but if you can, lower down onto your elbows 
And if you can again, lower down onto the floor and we're gonna hold for 10. So 10, nine, eight. Try and squeeze your knees together as well. Instead of letting them fall apart, try and keep your knees together. Five, four, three, two, and one. Okay. Whew. So hopefully you're feeling your legs kind of loosen up. Now we're going to move on to kind of being into a straddle position. So if everyone sits on the floor and put your legs nice and wide, as wide as you can go. What I find useful is to kind of push my heels into the floor and then just push my bum forwards and you can find you, that it will help you kind of extend yourself to a point where it's not comfortable. So you want to be feeling the pain in your legs because this is how we're going to improve our flexibility. So I want you to come forwards as much as you can, keep inching yourself forwards until you're in a point where it's not very comfortable to sit. So. What we're going to do is we're going to do some stretches one side and the other side to try and help us get used to this situation that we're sitting in. So for those of you who haven't been sat in this position before, it's very ten it gives you the tendency to roll your back and to slunch down. This makes it easier on your legs, so it helps remove the pain. But what you need to do is to try and straighten your back and especially your lower back and roll your hips forwards so that you're feeling it in your legs. So try and keep a straight back if possible and then I want you to reach up with your hands if you can't do that it doesn't really matter about keeping your arms there and um, we're, we're just doing it so that we can get our legs activated so I want you to lean down to one side and try and reach your toes on one side and just relax there for a second you should feel it all down your side here try and turn your shoulder out and that'll help you feel that down the side of your body and the other way. And we're going to turn out with that shoulder as well so that you can feel the stretch down your torso. And up and to the other side. Stretching nice and deep. And up and down to the side. And up and relax. Now I want you to try and shuffle forwards a little bit more. Try and really push yourself so that it's painful. Now we're going to do some stretches the whole way around. So I want you to reach down, point your toes if you can, try and point your toes and roll, roll your ankles. Just then you can feel it in your head legs. It helps push your legs out. Shuffle forwards again, shuffle forwards. And this time we're going to reach down to one side you don't have to turn your shoulder out so you can have your body down this time and try and squeeze your nose to your knee. Okay, so I want you to try and get your nose down to your knee like this. Or if you can, even further, that's brilliant. So we're gonna do that and we're gonna hold for 20 this time, okay? So 20 on one leg and 20 on the other leg. And in between, instead of coming up, I want you to walk around. So we'll go like this and really stretch out in like this and then we'll do 20 on the other leg okay so everyone come down squeeze as far as you can go and 20 19 18 17 16 15 14 13 12 11 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 and one and walk your hands around in front of you try and keep your body as low as possible and to the other leg where we're going to hold for 20 again so pull your torso down to your leg as much as possible and 20 19 18 17 it should be 13 16 15 14 13 12 11 10 9 Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good. Okay, bring your legs in, shake them out a bit, bring your legs up like this and just let them go loose. Give them a little wobble. 
Lovely. Now we're going to do a little glute stretch, which you'll probably all be familiar with. So I want you to bring one leg up, bring, bend it up, bring it over the other leg, and then squeeze it in. So you should look like this. A top tip here is that again, you have the tendency to roll your back and then it hurts less. So really straighten up your back, tense back your shoulder blades, push in your lower back, and then squeeze your leg into your chest. And we're gonna hold for 10, so 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. And then from here, I want you to bring this arm up over your leg and then we're going to twist and use this as a back stretch okay so from here i'm going to look over with my left shoulder and then twist around as much as possible and hold for 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 and 1 and then we're gonna shake out and then we're going to swap legs so bring your other leg up and over hold it around straighten your back and squeeze into your chest for 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 and 1 and then reach up and over with the opposite arm to the opposite leg and twist yourself as much as possible and hold for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Oh. And then relax, stretch out a bit if you want to. Use this time to just make sure everything's feeling good. Now we're going to do a calf stretch. This is my one of my favourite stretches. So what I want you to do is to come up onto your hands and your legs and what we're going to do here is to straighten our back legs and then walk like this and you should feel the stretch in your in your calf. So what I want you to do is to try and get your back leg straight and drive your heel into the ground and pop. you can pop the other foot on top to help push down if you want to and hold it for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. And then swap legs, so pop your other leg down, drive that heel into the floor. It can help to stick your bum out because then that helps push your weight through your, your calf. And hold for 10, 9, 8, 7, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Okay. Um, finally, for our final stretch, we're gonna do a hamstring stretch. So, you can lie on your back, bring one leg up, grab your leg wherever you want, try and keep your leg as straight as possible, and then pull it in. And until it's really painful. You can do this in pairs, it's really good if you've got someone else with you that can help to push your leg down and hold it. So this is always good fun to do with a friend as well because a good kind of measure of whether their leg is far enough or not is to look at their face. So you wanna push until they express discomfort or pain and then you should stop, but you should hold it. And that's the key to all these stretches is to hold it. So. One leg up, grab that leg, make sure it's nice and straight. You can point your toes or you can have them back like this. You can do whatever you want. Having them back like this will help bring the stretch into the carb as well. Pointing them will make it more focused on the hamstring. So squeeze that leg in and we're going to hold for 20 on each leg. So first leg, squeeze it in, squeeze it in until it's not very comfortable. And hold for 20, 19, 18. 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, squeeze in a bit further than the final 5, 4, 3, 2, 
and one and release it down oh. and bring up that other leg and we're going to do the same grab it squeeze it into when it's not comfortable and 20 19 18 17 16 15 14 13 12 11 10 9 8 7 6 squeeze it in a bit further 4 3 2 and 1 oh. okay i hope for those of you who have watched this video that's helped um the key takeaway from all of this is that you have to push the stretches to a point where it's not comfortable and then hold it and then over time you'll be able to go further and further and hopefully eventually one day do the splits and hopefully it will improve your fencing as well so thank you for watching and good luck working on your stretching